Hello everyone, welcome to 1111 Tarot. I'm Danny, also known as RD, over on the No Crime, No Time channel, where I support Stephen Avery and Brendan Dassey, who are wrongfully convicted. All right, my lovely lovelies, hello Aries and everybody else. You may have Aries in your chart. Maybe somebody you love has Aries in their chart. You can check your natal chart out by looking down below in the link. There's a free link to go in there. And that might tell you a little bit more about yourself. I know it certainly did me. So let's get started, Aries. I have this beautiful tarot deck. It's the Gilded Revere Lenormand Expanded Edition. I'm going to be giving this away on June 1st. Wendy in, congratulations for being our May 1st winner. So all you need to do is be a subscriber and then put deck giveaway down below. I'm also giving away this beautiful Wheel of Life. This is the 1111 Wheel of Life spread. It's the blueprint for a spread. And somebody is going to get to have one of these on June 1st. I'm going through the subscribers. And if you put 1111 Tarot, on the comments below, if you're a subscriber, you might be the lucky winner of this. All right, my lovely Aries and anybody that is drawn in by this message, I wanted to just take a second and kind of go into what's been coming at me. So there's an opportunity. It appears small because it's segmented. Okay, so it's going to come in in little bitty nobules I don't know what that means little sections and it'll all add up to this beautiful birth of this opportunity so what appears to be something small is going to turn into be something absolutely unique and meant for you and it is so exciting um when I when I go into this feeling that I get I see the woods Okay, and I see taller grass, so it's not a beaten path. It, you've gone off the path, and like you're wandering through the woods, and you're following till you see this white tree. And this white tree is unique. It stands amongst all these other trees in the forest, but you get called over to this white tree, which as you get to this white tree and you're absorbing this, you look past the white tree and just a little ways away is this beautiful treasure that you find and you're like oh my and you think that's it and you're enjoying that and the white tree when you look over and it leads to even a bigger exploration or discovery and it just it all links together and pretty soon it's come full circle and you're standing in the middle of this blessing. And so I'm really excited for you guys, Aries. I'm really excited. Okay, there is going to be a little bit of stepping out of your comfort zone. And that is part of the growth cycle. Let's get started. Okay, we're going to start off with the Paper Moon deck. And we're going to find out what cycle that you're currently in. We're always in a cycle. But what's going on with Aries? We'll take this one. It says, take a leap of faith. Yep. The universe has your back 520. That's May 20th, 2021. And today you have to look at that and you have to say, okay, she just said we have to go out of our comfort zone and we just have to, to follow this little Hansel and Gretel trail, but it doesn't lead to a bad witch that's going to cook you in the oven. It's going to lead to this beautiful treasure. It says, sun enters Gemini, first quarter moon, Virgo. So, Gemini's energy is all about this decision, right? It's always weighing the pros and the cons and seeing both sides of something. And I feel like you've gone within and you've really looked at it and you're like, I just got to get there and try it. I don't have enough information to make a great decision. And so you're ready to explore and the universe has your back. The universe has your back. Here we go. Where are we headed? I can't take all that, but this did jump. And we'll take the first one. Secrets will be revealed. This will change everything. February 27th, 2021 might be something that happened at the end of February that secrets now come out about. 
bone full moon virgo now keep in mind the full moon that's coming is a blood full moon it's in may um i believe it's may 25th depends on where you live and we just got, and that's a super moon and then we have that super moon that just ended ended in april on the 27th so we have this portal moons these two super moons the only two super moons in 2021 so it could come from something for you aries as far back as the end of february also when i look at this it's a beautiful number because 22 is a master number you'll want to look that up but also it breaks down to the to the reduction of an 11 and you're on 11 11 tarot <laughs> you know the drill we're going to save this last card so as we come into our fate and we come into our destiny, we're going to see what this bridge is together for serendipity in the middle. And I want to do that with you very soon. Let's build up this outside <clears throat> swirling creation of manifestation. Let's start here in the east. It's, you know, where you wake up in the morning. Um, it's where you're automatically manifesting with your first thoughts of the day your feelings, um, the the words that you speak, the attitude that you carry, you're all manifesting right away in the beginning because it's where the sun rises. Page of Earth, that's that little opportunity that's going to grow really big. Yeah, Page of Earth. So it's just as that vision came, you know, um, and it's about taking a, a leap of faith like this. Follow this fairy. <laughs> This earth fairy, they're going to take you into places that you just aren't expecting. It's a beautiful opportunity. Wow. Let's move over into the west. And this is... <laughs> wow. I'm just saying wow a lot because <clears throat> it's exactly... The, the story is exactly the vision I saw. So that's beautiful. Um, we're going to go over here in the West where the sun sets. And we put our head down on our pillow at night. And it's it's a communication of what are we putting our head down on our pillow that brings that, you know satisfaction to us. I've got to turn the heat up in here. I'm going to pass these cards out. Um, these two are going to go right here. And we'll come across those as we work into the reading. So, you guys, hold on just to Jeff. All right, lovelies, I turned the heat up. My hands are freezing. It was only 68 inside. So, let's get some warmth rolling. Maybe you're feeling a little left out in the cold, but it's time to join this um, abundant energy that's coming towards you. Now, there's two stories here, but they're both happening at the same time. So there's a fork in the road ahead. But before we get to the fork in the road, I'm sensing these two energies coming towards you. One set of energies, and I say energies, is a, a, like a you exploring and, and surrendering to the universe. And then <clears throat> there's other energies that intermix, and it, it's a beautiful path because it leads to abundance and stuff. But I also feel like there's something that's going to come along and try to tempt you off that path and try to distract you from your highest path of exploration. And um, that that temptation or whatever that is, that's going to be a big, big deal. So let's go ahead and talk about this page of earth. This page of earth is definitely somebody that has a magic wand, if you will. And I almost get that feeling of like that movie Avatar, where you're going to be exploring and following this new energy that's aligned for you, but you're going to have to learn a lot in the process, and it is going to be um, a beautiful journey. Let's go into your south node and see what your challenge is. Your challenge is this eight of earth. It's producing this harmonic melody in your life like <clears throat> you may have found your orchestra but you've just got to get in tune 
Wow. Let's go ahead and turn over the West. This is our fire sign. This is all about what we don't always see as being told to us by the ancestors. Like they try to give us heads up. Yeah. Temptation. That's that temptation to veer away from taking the action that's appropriate for you. You need to take this leap of faith. The universe has your back. May 20, 2021 on the board. And this temptation, I feel like it's, we're going to qualify, but I feel like it's to stray away from that path. Ace of Fire, your north node. My throat chakra feels a little <clears throat> blocked for some reason. Ace of Fire, you have an ace on the board, and this is a very, very huge opportunity. This opportunity is coming yours, is is coming your way no matter what. It's coming to you. Um, it's a matter of time before you take action. Let's look at serendipity. Oh, forgot about that one. Let's put that over there. Let's see. We'll put it right here at the top of the spread. And we'll read that last as part of serendipity. So when you get your fate line, which is this opportunity here and the temptation, which may try to take you off this beautiful path, is the fate line that you will have this cross your path. The destiny, however, is exquisite because this is this is the universe coming in and saying, here's this opportunity. There are temptations coming in. What do you do? And your destiny, which is your highest path, right? The best for you is to just tune in. Tune in to the energies and know what's right for you and what is not right for you. You will be able to sense that within you. It's in your DNA. It's in your blood to know. It's in your gut, your intuition. All right, guys. Serendipity. We've got this colliding. What is bridging this page of earth, this new opportunity that's made for us? What bridges us to this temptation? How does this come in? Furthermore, this serendipity answers how do we come, how do we embrace becoming in tune with the correct opportunity? Ace of Earth. What? You have two aces in a row, which is an 11. And we have an 11 right here. With a reduction of 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 7 is 11. What do we have to say here? Oh, can't make it up. Isn't it amazing how the universe, I'm sorry for shaking the table and the camera. Isn't it amazing though how the universe speaks to us? Look at all this new beginning. I explained it's this path you want to take and there's somebody trying to distract you from it, right? Here we go. Boldly go where you have never been before or sit on the couch and miss out. May 13th, 2021, Jupiter enters Pisces, waxing crescent moon, Gemini. You have Gemini here too. Gemini, it is your time. It's coming up on your birthday. Wow, wow, wowzer. This is the wow, wow, wow reading, right? Wow, wow, wow. I can't wait to continue. I feel like we should see what this is. I feel like this is the challenge regarding this temptation. I can't wait. I don't want to wait till the end. Yep. It's communication. Five of fire. It's the same as five of wands. It's about this communication. It's about not always being the leader, but accepting that there might be an earth fairy to guide you, but knowing which energy to follow um, and embrace and enjoy on your highest path. You are definitely cutting your own path, but it's like you have different energies coming in to visit you. 
and they're beautiful, but there's also some that are there to sabotage. So the temptation is to veer off path and get into a squabble of he said, she said, blah, 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 or to take this highest path right up here and just make harmonious music. Let's dig really deep into the tarot. Here we go, my lovelies. We've got the strength card on the bottom of the deck, which is protection, divine protection. So know that the decision you have to make isn't one you have to think out. You don't even have to give it a second thought. Nope. This decision is going to come by what you feel. In illumination, qualifying this page of earth, we have a page of pentacle. Same as page of earth. So it is this tangible offer. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, my golly. <gasps> what? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Hello, what? I need a drink. <coughs> I didn't see him wow so much. Okay. Aries gets the wow, wow reading. Hot damn. This tower, lovelies, is in your wisdom. And you have this fool right here in clarity. It is absolutely a brand new beginning. I mean, you're about to just enjoy things the way you have never thought of doing them before. Like there's going to be an epiphany. It just is an explosive idea that just changes the, oh, changes this foundation into harmony. I have not been this fired up in so damn long, you guys. <laughs> this reading is so amazing. All right, we're going with this Ada Earth. We have love, trust, and growth on the board. It's our emotional trial and error. It's what are we truly manifesting. Explain this tower, this epiphany. Oh, my golly. It's like this hurry up and wait, hurry up and wait, hurry up and wait. It's now like, holy crap, it's here, it's here. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. This eight of earth in love, true love meant for you. Can't make it up. Two cups. Ace of pentacles. Again, you have three aces on the board. Oh, you've got the ace of wands. You've got the ace of pentacle. And you've double tapped the ace of pentacle. You can trust that this is going to bring in a true 3D um, offering. You're going through this portal as you go through these two supermoons and you embrace them. It's this designed path that you just now clearly see. Where are we in growth? Yep, it's being mixed up for you. This is going to be your favorite drink you ever had in your life. It is being specially custom made for you. You, 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 you. And the growth is that it is divine timing now. Right now. Do not wait. This is in your growth potential. It says Virgo on the board with growth. Virgo on the card. Take a leap of faith. The universe has your back 520, 2020. 21 and oh my golly the universe this is archangel michael's card where is it in your virgo spot on the board look look <laughs> this is so beautiful i could cry for you i'm in like tears of joy for real two of cups absolutely exquisite long-term love Ace of Pentacles, what is truly designed for you? That's what comes out of this sour moment. And growing out of this waiting, waiting, waiting. Don't be sitting around waiting. Because it's coming your way. Now we've already got this card right here from this, this pull. We've got the temptation as well as five of fire. So the challenge in temptation is to get too involved in he said, she said. And not 
flowing with the energy. So we've got to allow this new to come in. We've got to allow it to ebb and flow and appreciate everybody's value that they bring to the table. And we've already got that. So let's go ahead and get dream and experience, qualifying five of fire and temptation in our physical material realm. Ancestors speak. We have King of Cups in reverse in our perspective, in our dreaming state. So what we see in front of us is this reverse of the King of Cups. Let's see what we have in introspection. Reposing with this blessing coming in. We're gathering ourselves. So we've been resting up to this point and we've been healing. But this blessing is here right now. So it's time to get up. Now the idea... Yes, it's this this King of Cups buries their emotion. They do. They're solid like a like a rock. As the ocean is it could be a hurricane around this guy. He's got his own platform. It's in reverse. It shows that there's some instability in this king as he begins to show his emotions and release what he's holding so tight to. And in that, it's getting the idea of finding the stability in sharing emotion and not feeling as though um, you made yourself too vulnerable and that might be a weakness. No, go ahead. Share emotion with this, this trip. Um, it's, it, it, share your wisdom. Share. Like, speak your, your truth. In experience, we have the Emperor. Aries, this is your own en energy, the Emperor. It's Aries on the board, your first house. Your first house is about your temperament. It's your own power. And it is Aries. And Aries is the first house, right? You have Ace of Fire. You have Ace of Earth. Ace of Pentacle, you have three aces on the board. This is going to be really, really unique for you, and you're going to love it. It's going to take a little time to adjust and get used to this new energy, but it's just going to be beautiful. Aries, this is the best reading I have ever done for you. You grab hold of this new beginning and do not allow the temptation to, to let this pass you by. And there's going to be distractions. Old energies are going to try to come in and jump on the new. We got our three cards, and there it was. Old energies are coming. They're coming. And they've caused a lot of heartbreak. But look, it's in the cleansing place on the board. Heartbreak is being cleansed out. Ooh, you got that devil in reverse, in renewal. You are being purified. Because you have released the heartbreak. You are new. You have done the damn work, Aries. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Go, Aries. Go, Aries. Go, go, go. Go, Aries. Go, Aries. Go, go, go. I just, I'm cheering you on. I have literal goosebumps on me. Because you're letting go of the toxicity. In renewal. You are renewing, releasing that toxicity. In cleansing, what are you cleansing? The broken heart. You're letting the healing come in. Look at you in your glorious power. This is somebody that just takes charge of their life. Like they're, the blame game's over. Let the meeting go. Everybody go. Who cares who did what? We're where we are. It is what it is. Let it be. Beautiful, and you're taking charge. You are going to take this adventure, this ace of wands. You're following your own passion. Purity on the board. Yes, best place in the world to get eight of swords. You are walking out of this mind screw, right? Like everything put you in your head because it just wasn't working. Something just tips the scale for you, Aries, and it just throws an imbalance for you. Like right now, right here, today. 
Like, I feel like you're with me. You're like, yes, yes, yes. Finally, finally, finally. I don't even know where to go with this because this is beautiful. I just feel like let's throw some blessings on this and say thank you so much, Archangel Michael. Thank you to all the ancestors that are guiding us for our highest path and protecting us and keeping us where we need to be, when we need to be. And we're listening. We hear you. There went a card in the middle. Breach. There it is. Whoop, there it is. Whoop, there it is. It's breaching. It's coming out. This energy is explosively good. I told you, it looks like a page, but it's huge because it leads to your destiny, your highest path. Look at you, lovely. It activates you. You may need to literally get outside and get some fresh air in nature for the activation to fully take place. I'm putting it right here on this ace of fire because that is where I'm guided to put it. And then also solitude. It's in reverse, which I've never been instructed to take them in reverse. I feel like I am now because it's going right here on this eight of earth. It came in reverse. It's about getting together and cooperating. Like I said, a bunch of energies are coming towards you and it's going to, you're in your power. I tell you, your energy is being used in the right direction. You're no longer giving your pearls to swine. You're not. You're not wasting the energy on those that are stealing it and not giving back anything to society. They're not giving back to anybody. In fact, they're taking your energy to rob the poor. And you've you've seen this. The divine shown it to you and you've pulled that energy back. And now the divine is striking the water. And bringing you fully into your power. And this is the best tower in the world. I kid you not. You have all aces. It's breaching. It's exquisite. One more. All right. There it went. It clapped but went back in. So we'll leave it. It was like here comes the big one. So whatever comes out is the big, big, big one. It's our serendipity blessing. It's your ancestors. It's those that have passed before you. It's the universe. Ceremony, invocation, you are absolutely going through the rite of passage. It's these two supermoons. You are owning your power and you are understanding the accountability for your own growth, for your own potential. Is that in order for these blessings to come in, you have to stand in your own power and remember, embrace your energy and use it in a way that benefits everyone. Give it to those that are truly in need of a healing and spiritual growth. I love you guys, Aries. I really do. Do me a favor. Look up Stephen Avery, Brendan Dassey. I work so hard to, um, and so do all the truthers, to bring in the light and set this injustice into the right path of true justice. I love you, Aries. To the moon. And back.